Yo, ha ha, Bill uh, Nicholson. Uh, what is good, YouTube? Your boy, Bill Nicholson, coming back with another quick video. Today, we got the Air Jordan 11 Gratitudes in the building, and this is kind of like one of my favorite Jordan 11s um, in quite a, some time. And, I, and listen, I know some people are looking at the title saying, like, this guy is just trying to hype up the Jordan 11 Gratitudes, but at the same time, I'm going to explain what I mean when I say that. The Jordan 11 Gratitude 11 is better than the Jordan 11 Concord to a certain point. Now, we're going to look at the Jordan 11 Concord and look at the aesthetics, right? So by design, everybody loves the Concord. It just brings nostalgia. Air Jordan himself, Mr. Michael Jordan wore it, of course, in the uh, 96 series, uh, kind of starting the trend for his second 3P. Coming back off retirement. Where's the 45 jersey? Has the 45 on the back of the shoe. So everything kind of looked kind of weird. But this brought a lot of nostalgia to sneaker fans across the nation. But at the same time, while I felt as though this looks good, and don't get me wrong, this is one of my favorite Jordan 11s out of all my Jordan 11 collection. By material wise, the Jordan 11 gratitude may be a little bit superior to the Jordan 11, at least the 2018 Jordan 11 Concord. So with that said and done, man, keep that in mind that you'll be seeing some comparisons because I will be using examples like the Jordan 11 Jubilee because I felt like this was another good, executed, well-defined release. Uh, it just never got enough credit. And this is kind of one of those premier Jordan 11s that I like. Um, there's other, other Jordans I'm kind of going to bring on this review, but I'll explain as I go. So with that said and done, man, shout out to everybody that hit on the Nike sneaker shock drop. Uh, Nike actually sent boxes like this where you can't really see that it's an actual Nike box. Um, they, at least the one they sent to me was kind of like this pullout box and I'm not gonna show the other side cause it's got my address information and stuff like that. But with that said and done, man, let me just pull this bad boy out and let me get started. And let's talk about the Jordan 11 Gratitudes. You can see right here, your boy has a size 13 in the building. Um, I can tell you right now, the execution of this is it's kind of good, uh, but the backstory is kind of like not. Let me explain. So you got the 2-3 right here that you would normally see as a print on the heel of a Jordan 11. You got the Jordan logo right here. This is not a pullout box like we've seen in recent years, but you can actually just open up the box itself. And I like how when they started everything off, that you read in the box, at least on the back panel, that reads, thank you. So you're reading this and it does look like uh, something crazy, but when you turn it to the side, I'll have a video right here. You can see that it's saying thank you. So let me kind of like get back on that story. So you think of Jordan brand and what they've done over time, especially with Jordan retros. They come out with different collaborations with other people. There's, you know, there's retros that go out, there's major GR releases, general releases. But think of this shoe as a token of appreciation to consumers like you and me, right? So this is why I say like the gratitude in itself is going to be a collector's item over time because you're likely not going to see, <clears throat> sorry, not likely going to see this shoe re-retro. It's not going to be something that you, we may ever see again, much like the Jordan 11 Jubilees, uh, much like the, and I'm using these as, as, as an example, much like the Jordan 11 Adapts. Uh, and much like, you know, something like a, a Jordan 11 cap and gown. You're like, you'll, you'll see a, your concours, your, your breads and stuff like that re-release over time, but there's just certain shoes you may not see. And that's why I think that this may be important to some people who collect shoes over time. So with that said and done, man, let's continue on. Opening the box, you can see that it actually has wrapping paper. Now, what I like about this wax paper is that they also have thank you written on it in different languages. Again, you'll see a video right here. Um, I think I saw anywhere from, you know, Spanish to German. Um, I mean, it's all over the place, but I, I like that there's diversity. So he's kind of thanking not just <laughs> consumers like you and me, but just everybody around the world is what is basically the kind of the theme. So just take that with a grain of salt. Open this bad boy up. Man. <sighs> now, I get the leather pad, high cuts, the low cuts. Yeah, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So by design and looking at the Jordan 11 Gratitude for the first time, I can say that I'm actually a big fan of the leather upper 
over the ballistic mesh because aesthetic, design-wise, this looks good. <clears throat> it looks good to the, the, the naked eye, uh, but over time, we all know that the history of Jordan 11s tend to be where you got that icy blue bottom that turns yellow over time. And even some parts of the actual ballistic mesh or the actual ballistic nylon, whatever you want to call it, um, it definitely goes yellow. It goes in that yellow stage. Cleanable, but it's definitely going to be hard to maintain over time versus a design that has superior leather upper. And when I say like the, the leather quality is not like um, premium leather, it reminds me of the leather that was used on the Jordan 11 cherries. So if you're used to feeling kind of that leather material, it, it, it kind of has that type of feeling. So I'm gonna put this back. But you can see right here, you got the two, three on the back. This is not printed. Um, it is a label on here. The only thing that I wish they'd have done on a Jordan 11 Gratitude was to make that, that Jumpman logo kind of like a metallic type of feeling that they gave to the whole Jordan 11 Jubilees. But you can see right there, I, I love this shoe just by looking at it. And also when you look at the, the, the leather pad uh, portion where people don't prefer the high cut over the low cut, I actually prefer the high cut, um, but I do what, like to compare this Jordan 11 Gratitude, I want to say it's like a combination between the Jubilees and the Concours because you look on the outsole, instead of making it icy, and I can, this is kind of why over time this will be easier to look at to the eye versus a Jordan 11 Concours. I'm talking like 10 years down the line. So if you got it in 2018, look at it 2028, and then look at you know this shoe in the same year. And I guarantee that this will age well over the Concours. That's why I said, this is why I said what I meant when I said it's better better quality. See, that's why I got you. No. But anyway, when you look on the outsole, it's a creamy outsole that will never have yellowing over time. But I felt like they grabbed that outsole design from the Jubilees. Um, and when you look at the bottom, of course, this, is, this adds a nice touch to it. These traction pads, both on the top and bottom, you can see that it is black. And I feel like that black complements the leather pad that's used on the upper. I will say this, you got the rope style laces, and of course you got the Jumpman Jordan on the actual tongue. The tongue is leather. Whew, man, this thing feels so good. The one thing I will say that most people may or may not know, when you look on the tag on the back of the tongue, it reads something different that we've never seen on a Jordan 11. So most of the times on Jordan 11, you'll see a picture of what I'm talking about. When you read the back of the tongue, it'll say quality basketball, products inspired by the greatest player ever and this more that's you know so that's basically talking about michael jordan himself but when you flip over the gratitudes and you read it and it says quality basketball product created in gratitude by the greatest player ever so it's like we're paying homage to jordan brand and jordan himself whereas this is a token appreciation to again you and me, the consumer. And of course, on the back of the tongue, it does read, thank you, just as you saw on the actual box. So the touch, the design, the execution, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. And this is going to be a good holiday shoe. Uh, this is set to drop in December, if I'm not mistaken, the 16th. And I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people that's going to go after this. Or it actually could be a little bit earlier than that. But it depends on how Nike does the execution. But this is the Shock Drop pair. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the Air Jordan 11 Gratitude. Again, the execution, the style, I think is fine. Of course, you do have that carbon sh fiber shank plate that sits along the midfoot of the shoe. Um, and even that carbon fiber, if you look at it, that carbon fiber shank plate has a little bit like a, like a gold to it, like a goldish hue to it, like you would see on the labeling for the 2-3 and the logo of the Jumpman logo. I feel like this is... This is going to be one of those highly coveted Jordans. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the price point. They don't appreciate that because that's not a <laughs> that's not a form of gratitude. But at the same time, I look at it four years ago where this Jordan 11 cap and gown, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was like $250. And then you look at the Jordan 11 Adapts, which was, I think when it initially came out, was somewhere in the price point of $500. So it's not like they never really increased. It's not It's not new to increase the price of a Jordan 11 around the holiday season. It's, it's, it's not acceptable, at least not in this time, but 
you know what I'm saying? It's not unheard of. And even though this wasn't a part of the holiday season, I think this came out like around springtime. This was 250. So this is 230. But in terms of the materials, again, this will last, it will age easily and be more easier to take care of in the future versus your your typical Jordan 11 with the ballistic mesh, ballistic nylon, whatever you want to call it, um, that have the icy blue bottoms on the outsole. So your boy going up some man, Jordan 11 Gratitudes. Let's do that on feet and see what it does. I am so happy right now. I can't wait to you know, kind of rock mines. I, I will be rocking the heck out of this. And of course, you do have that fine line midsole that sits on the shoe itself. Man, I almost forgot to talk about that before I look. I almost forgot to show you guys the actual insole. The insole in itself, and I like that that added touch to it. Look at that two, three, that gold. Man, that is so nice. And honestly, listen, when you put this shoe on, and this is what I forgot to say before I go, when you feel the heel, the cushioning that they use on the sock liners, or at least around the heel portion, you'll notice that most Jordan 11, sometimes it has a lot of cushioning, like the Jordan 11 Cool Grays. Like when this dropped, of course, you look at my, my Cool Grays. When this dropped, this had a lot of padding on the interior. So it made it so comfortable to wear. And then there's certain Jordans where I noticed that, at least Jordan 11 series, where I noticed that the padding is real thin, so it doesn't feel as comfortable. And again, not only just from the material wise, but the actual feel of the shoe. This is what happens when you, you change out the ballistic mesh or the nylon in exchange for the leather because what's going to happen is this has more flexibility and bend towards it. So it's going to feel better than your average Jordan 11. Now, your boy, don't never say, I am out. Jordan 11 Gratitudes. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Did you get your pair from the shock drop? Do you plan on getting it in December? Let your boy know. I am out. You guys. Stay blessed.